my tablet become my PC and here's how yours can be one too. As you can see on the screen, I'm using S9 Ultra and Windows operating system together. Normally this does not happen as the S9 Ultra comes with an Android operating system. But I utilize some tools to remotely boot up and connect to my personal computer. The first tool is called Magic Fingers. It is a device that allows you to boot up your computer remotely by pressing on the power up button on your computer. As you can see, if I click here, it will remotely turn on my computer. This Magic Finger device can communicate with a Wi-Fi Bluetooth getaway. This way, a device that normally uses Bluetooth can be powered up via Wi-Fi. This allows you to remotely boot up your computer. The second tool that I use is AnyDesk. As you can see, I'm connected to my personal computer using AnyDesk on my tablet. And I can use various IDE softwares such as VS Code or Arduino IDE. Uh, right now, I am taking a build remotely on my computer and I'm doing this solely on my tablet. The camera did not capture the texts perfectly, but it is much clearer. As you can see, sometimes when you use any desk, the cursor icon doesn't change when it's supposed to. Uh, this is one of the small bugs that program have. And I will use paint to show you that there exists really no lag here. As you can see, I'm drawing faces or writing some texts and everything is done in real time there is no lag and it is very easy to use and not only that but tablet also supports a feature called terminal so here is a pcb board that i have programmed before if i plug that in and see that the lights are on which means the connection is successful and open up my terminal here and start receiving signals as you can see, it prints fixage.com on the screen because the PCB was programmed to communicate through serial port and prints text. This way, when you develop a program for your PCBs, you can see the outcome here on your tablet. For electrical engineers, it is possible to create single line power schematics. Uh, this can also be useful if you are working with electronics, solar single line or similar. For developers, there also are AI-based assistants. For example, ChatGPT or what I'm using here is BART or Gemini. Uh, you can use them very easily on your tablet, which will contribute to your development. For reading PDFs, the tablet is very nice. As you can see, the quality of screen is very high and it is very easy to use. Uh, the only problem here is the size of the screen. Sometimes on the bottom or on the top there are some blank spaces. This is very easy to take notes using this program. You can easily take your notes. You can easily write. Another thing to talk about is the battery power. The tablet claims that the battery will go two days but it barely goes for a day. But it charges fast. The same can be said for the pen. The battery of the pen runs out daily, so you have to charge it daily. And you can only charge it when it is at the back of your tablet. When you put it on the top, it won't charge. The one problem of the pen is that sometimes it misinterprets the text you are writing. For example, let's make a demo here. I'll be writing Hello World. And the tablet has the automatic word correction feature. For example, this one turned into hello. I had written hello world. But when I try the same with another world, such as Laura got away. You see it's messed, messed the whole sentence up. So sometimes this happens. But it's very useful when you want to browse the web without a keyboard. For example, I can go to a shopping website very easily. I don't need to, uh, I don't need to use the keyboard really. Or let's go to Stack Overflow. 
and yeah, you can just go there. You don't need to use this built-in screen anymore, but you can use this if you wish. And when you wish to take a quick note without entering your pen, it is also possible like this. You take a quick note. You don't need to unlock your tablet. You can just write it here and save it. The problem with the tablet is that the DAX mode creates this bar there that takes up a lot of space on the screen. The height of the screen is already too less and it makes it even worse. So the top bar doesn't take too much space but with the DAX mode it takes a lot of space. I think it would have been better to just have the option to turn off the top bar just like we do in YouTube videos like this because the height of the screen is too low really and the protective cases are too expensive they are expensive than the iPad ones and here is how it looks without a protective case you can use the calculator on the Samsung tablet it works very well which I heard iPad does not support the notes app works very very well here uh, you can take notes, write stuff, underline stuff, color stuff it is all possible the camera of the tablet is very bad really uh, it is not a very quality camera uh, the quality is low and you cannot use this device with just one hand the width of the screen is too much Here in my setup, I connect mouse and keyboard. Here is a quick keyboard test, typing test. The speed is very nice, as you can see. It integrates well. And the magnet of the pen is not too strong. Sometimes it just falls down. It would have been better to have a stronger magnet there. A simple device that I put my tablet on, it can rotate. You can have different angles with it. And the audio quality of the tablet is very nice too. I like listening to music with it. Thank you all for being with us in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below. Thanks for watching.